हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट्स कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टुडेज लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक कॉल्ड एनर्जी ऑर्डर ऑफ द सबशेल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ऑन कॉन्टर नंबर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द मेन एनर्जी शेल एंड द सबशेल्स प्रेजेंट इन दैम द मेन एनर्जी शेल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द प्रिंसिपल कॉन्टर नंबर स्मॉल एन and a subshell of main energy shell is represented by azimuthal contour number small l so i'm writing main energy shell main energy shell is represented by principal contour number principal quantum number and it is designated as small n and subshell of main energy shell subshells uh, subshells present in main energy shell subshells present in main energy shell is represented by azimuthal quantum number small l let's recapitulate one thing the value of l will range from 0 to n minus 1 it signifies that the value of l and the value of n will never be equal to each other and the value of l will never be greater than small n azimuthal contour number will never be equal to the main principal contour number and the azimuthal contour number will never be greater than principal contour number azimuthal contour number will never be greater than or equal to the principal contour number so now let's talk about the energy order as a general rule the subshells having higher sum of small n plus small l that is the sum of principal contour number and the azimuthal contour number will have the higher energy so i'm writing as a general rule the subshell having higher sum of principal contour number and azimuthal contour number will have higher energy will have higher energy now we know that let's talk about the values of l uh let me write one thing if the value of l is Zero, then this zero value signifies S subshell. When the value of L is one, it represents P subshell. When the value of L is two, it represents D subshell. And when the value of L is three, it represents F subshell. Now let's talk about the various examples of N plus L. to clear this topic now i'm taking an example for example uh i'm writing n and the l let's take the value of n to be 
2 and the value of L to be 0. Now it represents the main energy shell is 2 and the subshell is S. The 0 value of L stands for S subshell. So it is 2S subshell. Now let's talk about the another example. I'm taking N and here I'm taking L. Let's take the value of N to be 2 and the value of L to be 1. Now the main energy shell is 2 and L is 1. It represents P subshell. So it is 2P. So now let's sum N and the L. Now we have to do N plus L. It comes out to be 2 for the first case. Now for the second case, 2 plus 1 comes out to be 3. So N plus L of 2P. N plus L of 2P is greater than the N plus L value of the 2S and hence the energy of 2P will be greater than the energy of 2S subshell. So the energy of 2P will be greater than the energy of 2S as the N plus L of 2P is greater than the N plus L of the 2S. Now let's talk about one case. But in case of tie between the N plus L value of two subshells, who will have the higher energy? The subshell having the higher value of small n, the principal shell number, the main shell number will have the higher energy. So I'm writing, but in case of tie, but in case of tie of N plus L value, the subshell having higher value of n of n the main shell number the principal quantum number the subshell having the higher value of n the principal quantum number obviously the main shell number will have higher energy in case of ties of n plus l will have, here I am writing, will have higher energy. So now let's again take an example. For second case, I am writing for example, here I am writing N, here I am writing L. Let's take N to be 3, L to be 1. That means the main energy shell is 3 and one value of L stands for P subshell so it's a 3P. Now let's take another example here. I'm writing N and the L. Let's take the value of N to be 4 and L to be 0. Now the main energy shell number is 4 and the 0 value of L represents the S subshell so it's in 4S. So now let's sum n and the l of both the cases. I am writing n plus l it comes out to be 3 plus 1 comes out to be 4 and 4 plus 0 also comes out to be 4. So it's a case of tie between n plus l values of both the cases the 3p will have n plus l to be 4 and 4s will also have n plus l to be 4. So then who will have the higher energy then? I have written that the subshell which has the higher value of n will have the higher energy. In case of 4s, the higher value of uh, n is 4 than that of 3 in case of 3p, so 4s will have the higher energy. I am repeating again, in case of 4s, the main energy shell is 4 and in case of 3p, the main energy shell is 3. So the higher energy shell here is 4 due to which the 4s will have higher energy. 4s will have higher energy than 3p. 
so in case of 4s we got the higher principal condo number that is 4 then 3p where the principal condo number was 3 so that's why 4s will have higher energy than the 3p now now let now let me make an energy order table of all subshell it's a small trick that you have to understand very carefully just about the trick I'm writing energy order table of all known subshells uh, here I'm writing the principal condo number n downwards and I'm writing the azimuthal condo number from left to right now let's take the principal condo numbers to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now let's talk about the azimuthal condo number take this value to be 0 1 2 and 3 now now let's talk about the very first case take your n to be 1 and take your l to be 0 so 1 and a 0 that stands for 1 s now next when n is 1 and l is also 1 it will not exist the 1 p will not exist because n will never be equal to l now let's talk from the uh, se uh, second value of n let's take it to be 2 now 2 and a 0 stands for 2 s 2 and the 1 stands for 2 p now when n is 2 l is also 2 that case is not possible that means 2 d does not exist now let's talk about the third one when n is 3 l is 0 that stands for 3 s when n is 3 l is 1 that stands for 3 p when n is 3 and l is 2 that stands for 3 d now let's move to the fourth one when n is 4 and l is 0 that stands for 4 s now when n is 4 and l is 1 that stands for 4 p when n is 4 and l is 2 that stands for 4 d and when n is 4 and l is 3 that stands for 4 f now when n is 5 and l is 0 that stands for 5 s n is 5 and l is 1 that stands for 5 p n is 5 and l is 2 that stands for 5 d and when n is 5 and l is 3 that stands for 5 f now let's talk about the sixth shell when n is 6 and l is 0 that stands for 6 s n is 6 and l is 1 that stands for 6 p n is 6 and l is 2 that stands for 6 d when n is 6 and l is 3 that stands for 6 f now let's talk about the seventh one when n is 7 and l is 0 that stands for 7 s when n is 7 and l is 1 that stands for 7 p when n is 7 and l is 2 that stands for 7 d and when n is 7 and l is 3 that stands for 7 f okay so this is the table i have made now let's understand the trick to find out the order of n plus l values of all the subshells and that trick is understand it very carefully
uh, hold on take light this pen only it will be more proper than Now, you have to just follow the arrows and have to write down the energy order of n plus l values of all these subshells. Now, I am writing very first. Let us start from the very first now. At the very first, we got the 1s. So, I am writing here in a very sequential manner. I am writing 1 as comma the second value the second value will be 2s the second higher n plus l is of 2s now the third one now the third one will be 2p now so 2p after 2p is so a 3s now it's so a 3s after that we got the 3p we got the 3p then we got the 4s here i am writing 4s after 4s we will get the 3d just follow the or the direction of arrows then 3d here i am writing the next one is 3d then we are having 4p now it will be 4p then we are having 5s the next one will be 5s next one will be 4d that's so a 4d then it's a 5p here we got the 5p next one is 6s then we got the 6s next one is the 4f we got the 4f then is a 5d then we got the 5d then is the 6p here we got it to be 6p then we are having 7s we got the 7s then we are having 5f we are having 5f then it's a 6d we got the 6d then we are having finally 7p we got the 7p so let's stop it at the 7p only because at the 7p 118 elements gets completed and periodic table gets completed so we have to stop at the 7p only so this is the sequence the, which i have written that 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d 6p 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s 5f 6d and 7p this is the order of increasing n plus l value i'm writing this is the order of increasing n plus l values or you can say that this is the order of increasing energy of all the available subshells of all the available subshells so that's all for today i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture 
please like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed